Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Tom One and I'm a DJ and a producer and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to reverse the signal on your sustain pedal. So if like me you, you might have like a Roland keyboard or something and you've got like a proper uh, proper electric piano um, pedal, what you might find is you plug it into your MIDI keyboard, um, you press down on sustain pedal and nothing happens and you let go of sustain pedal and then everything's sustained and all of a sudden you realize that the pedal is reversed, all right? Um, and there's no switch a lot of the time on these Roland ones. Obviously, an easy fix is to have just a switch pedal, um, you know, a typical 0 to 127 MIDI switch pedal that just goes into the keyboard. But there is a way to do it within Logic. Uh, what you wanna do is you want to go to the MIDI environment. Um, so you wanna make sure that um, this is under window, open MIDI environment. You wanna make sure that Logic is in advanced mode. Logic 10 is in advanced mode. Logic 9 is always in advanced mode, um, but Logic 10, when you first get it, 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 it looks kind of like garage band and stuff. So just make sure that you are in advanced mode um, so that you get all of these options. Um, you wanna open up the MIDI environment. So basically, um, we're going to go up here. So layer, this is the mixer layer, um, you know, and you can start to, you know, control things. This is all like control base and stuff. Um, but you're going to go clicks and ports. All right. So at the moment, I've got the E panel. If I press my, if I just find my sustain pedal down here, if I press the sustain pedal down, nothing happens. It's still not sustaining. If I let go, and now and I have to press it down, all right? And this this happens, like I say, a lot with these sort of Roland, um, Roland pedals and things, um, the, the proper kind of keyboard pedals, it's just the way they work. But it's really easy, because all you want to do is just tell Logic um, that when it's at, at zero, um, the, the, the MIDI signal zero going in, that's sustain. And when your pedal's up, it's obviously triggering. You can see it here in the in the input view. When I press it down, it goes zero. When I lift it up, it goes 127. Now you want that the other way um, because that's 127 is sustain on, zero is sustain off. And really easy to do. All we're gonna do is gonna go new, uh, transformer. We get a little transformer here. We wanna connect it up from from this, this bit here. Um, so this is the output for like the keyboard. And then we're gonna connect it to the MIDI keyboard. Simple as that. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go into we we'll double click it, we're gonna go into here. So now what we wanna do, the status, so we wanna go, the status equals control. If we just leave it blank, um, whatever, you know, when we when we say that the data byte, which is going to be 64, cause that's the MIDI channel for the keyboard, but other things are 64 as well. When you don't have control on, um, sometimes it reverses other bits on the keyboard for you. So you'd be playing, I, I've, I've happened, it's happened to me before I've been playing and all of a sudden like a section of the notes on the keyboard play at full velocity no matter what and you just get notes pinging out all over the place. So you want the status to be control. So you're telling Logic only the control aspect. So like a control pedal, um, a fader or a, a knob or something. And then, so that's 64, data by all. Uh, and we're gonna go down here so rather than through, we're gonna go reverse, all right? That's it. So status control, data is 64, so that 64, control 64, which is the, the sustain pedal, and we're telling it, reverse it. So if we close that now, and now if we look in this little input view, when I press the pedal down, it says 127. When I lift it up, it says zero, and now, Yeah, as you, as you can see, like when when you when these other notes are going through, you've also got the different velocities, um, and that's that's where things can get a bit funny if you don't have this as control, the status as control, because it will start to affect basically anything that hits sixty four, it will reverse it. And you don't want that. But that's it basically, and then you can close that, and you can save your project, and away you go. And what I suggest is when you set up a template, and I suggest you do set up templates, all you need to do is go file, um, save as template. When you set up a template, have that environment 
um, open, set that all up, especially if you've got, like for me, I, I'm always using this pedal. So every new project I open, it will be, um, it will be the opposite way around. So I'll always have the same problem until I get another pedal or if I use another pedal, but there's no point because I can change it here. And that's it. Um, so save that as a template. So every single time you open up a new project, you've got your, you know, maybe like your sends and other presets set and whatever. And you know that every time you add an instrument in that your pedal is going to be um, working in the right way. But yeah, that's it. Hope that's helped. Hope that solved a lot of problems. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Do, please do leave a thumbs up, a comment, you know, subscribe to the channel if I've helped you out. Like it means a lot. Um, thank you so much, guys. Hope you're all having a good time and I will catch you later on.